Oh, am I gonna have to do the complete YouTuber like, ooh, okay. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally going to review Eczema Honey Co. I don't know about you, but I've always seen them pop up on my ads, especially because I have sensitive skin and Instagram's algorithm is I was finally able to buy some of their products. This whole video will let you know what I think about it, if I recommend it, is it worth the price. As far as my history with eczema, I've had it ever since I was born. I've been using this product for about a month now, and in order I'm going to show you what I ordered, what I like about it, the price, and of course I'm going to link all of the products in the description box below in case you wanted to visit the page, look at the ingredients, look at the price, and see if you yourself want to buy it. Now, when I had ordered, they had initially sent me the wrong item. Their customer service team that I have reached out to has been quick, responsive, sent me the replacement products in no time and didn't charge me extra for the shipping or for the products that they accidentally sent to me. And for that eczema honey, thank you. The first one that I'm going to show you is the eczema honey foaming hand soap. And that is this one right here. I developed eczema on my hands in high school and I have had it through college and I have it in and out through now. They become especially inflamed when I eat anything that I am allergic to. Gluten, soy, tomatoes, carrots, string beans, tuna. The list goes on and on. And that's a separate video that I can talk to you about. But anyways, the main reason I bought the foaming hand soap was because I knew that there was no fragrance in it and it was eczema friendly. The soaps that I used before that, I was just using the generic brand, but of course they add fragrance, they add dyes, and on top of that, they add chemicals to make hand soap sudsy. Now suds are basically the bubbles that you see when you're shampooing your hair or washing your hands. But what you don't know is that suds are not necessary in order for you to clean yourself. It is more for your brain and your eyes to say, oh look, it's I can see that it's cleaning because it's bubbling up. That is actually not true. They add a lot of chemicals in order for it to get all bubbly. But when you're done washing your hands, it might feel really dry or cracked, especially if you have sensitive skin. And that is why I went in with the eczema foaming hand soap. The texture of this is very liquidy. There is no scent to this. The number one ingredient on here is aloe vera juice. And a quick tip is when you read ingredients, whether it's food that you consume or products that you use, the first listed ingredient is the one that they use the most. The way I use the hand soap is I get one full pump on dry hands and then I lather it onto my skin for about 20 seconds or so and then I rinse it off. Not with hot water. Do not, if you are, if you have eczema, you know this, your doctor has told you this, probably a dermatologist told you this, but if not, I will tell you this. If you have eczema, do not use hot water. Your skin basically gets off on it. Has it made a difference in the sense of reducing hand eczema or uh, anything else that I've noticed? No, it has not made a difference. But I will say that not having to stress about, are there any added dyes or fragrance that I can't use on this? I've never had to stress about that once. It's very clear on what's in it and my skin has not reacted to it. And for that, that is a huge plus for me. This I do recommend. It's very sensitive and it's safe for anybody to use. After I wash my hands, I always have to moisturize it, which is why I was so excited to receive this next product. And that is the oatmeal hand cream. The texture of this, it's very smooth and it's fast absorbing and there's no scent to it. There's no added scent to it. It's definitely, all natural and that's with this whole entire line for the most part they don't add anything to add fragrance except for a couple of products that i will talk about later on as far as it doing something dramatic and life-changing i have not experienced that it's just another moisturizer and i hate to say that because this is the one that i was the most excited for but at the end of the day i always switch back between using this hand cream and Aveeno. Aveeno has been my friend for the longest time because that also does not irritate my skin. Any of those soft and gentle moisturizers, that's what this was like for me. As far as recommending this product, I would not. It's a four ounce bottle and it hasn't done anything drastically different. The only thing that I do like about it is of course the size of it. It's very, it's small enough to fit into your purse, take with you on the go. 
this is the one I was so excited for, but it's just like Aveeno. And if you have any other very sensitive skin moisturizers out there, it's just like that, but it's easy to put into your purse and take it with you anywhere. I would not recommend it unless you need something small enough, fragrance free to carry around with you when you're going out and about. Um, other than that, if it's just for everyday hand moisturizer use, I would just go ahead and continue with whatever sensitive hand cream you're using, whether that's Aveeno or Eucerin or anything of the like. Next up, probably the product that they are the most known for is their Skin Soothing Cream. It's smaller than I thought it was, and I was very excited to try this because there's no steroids in it. It's not medicated. If you've had eczema for a long time, you know that the trips to the doctor usually end with them prescribing you some sort of topical steroid cream. I was sick and tired of using something that I knew eczema was chronic and I didn't want to keep treating it with medicine, medicine, medicine. But this one, it comes in this balm like consistency. This specific product, you need to put it in the refrigerator in order for it to have that soothing, calming effect. There's no scent in this, other than the natural scents, of course. No additional fragrances, no additional dyes, very organic, clean. This one does have almond oil in it, but they do have another nut free, allergy friendly balm that does not use almond, which is amazing for all of you out there who are allergic to nuts. It is definitely a great alternative for you to use. I use this product twice a day. The best time that they recommend that you use this is right after a shower. Has this worked? Yes. This little buddy right here works, especially when you concentrate it on those areas and you are being consistent with the application. It works. Would I recommend it? Yes. Is it pricey? Yes. It's about $30 or so for, I think it's four ounces. Yeah, four ounces of this, $30. But if you are someone who frequently breaks out, is tired of using medicated steroid creams, or even if you have a child, this one, I highly recommend this. It's well worth it. I've had it for about a month and this is the amount that I've scraped off and I use it daily. Since coming across this, it's calmed down my skin a lot. And again, like I noted from the beginning, it's a journey to figure out what your skin is allergic to or why it's reacting certain ways, right? Let's say you're allergic to gluten or you're allergic to soy. If you're still eating those products or products that contain those ingredients, you're still gonna have those breakouts, which is another reason why eczema is so chronic. The number one thing that you need to know, even if you buy these products, you need to know what triggers your skin. If you do have a trigger or a flare up, and that is what this specific one is for. The next one, this one they had sent me on accident. It is the Premium Witch Hazel Spray, and its intention is to soothe down those itchy spots. This product, out of all of them that I have mentioned, is the most versatile, 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 I'm gonna share three of the ways that I use it. One, I use it for the purpose that it was served for. So when I do have really, really itchy skin and I'm like, oh, I should not be rubbing this thing raw right now, I will take this, spray it on that problem area. It helps calm and soothe it down. It's definitely the aloe vera in this that helps with that cooling feeling. The second way that I like to use this is as a face toner and all body toner. I love it. I've been wanting to get a new toner anyways. And the number one ingredient on here is witch hazel. I do have acne scars on my face and that produces a little bit of redness on both of my cheeks. So when I have been using this recently, I noticed that the redness slowly started to fade away. And I don't think it's gone forever, but I definitely think that the aloe that is used in this calms the skin and reduces the redness. And the third way that I like to use this is as a setting spray. Tell me down in the comments below if I really shouldn't be doing that. I'm not a makeup expert, as you can tell, but it doesn't irritate my skin. It does the job. The mist that comes out of it is just, oh God. I would recommend this one. I think this one is the one that you can get more bang for your buck. On to the next one. I don't have much to say about this because this is another one that they sent me on accident, but I figured, you know what, let me try it. Let me see if it works. And that is this Eczema Honey Gentle Face and Body Stick Lotion. So it definitely has more of a scent to it. I tried using this after I got out of my shower. I'd rather just use this product on its own rather than layering this on top of it but i can see how this could be helpful for those of you who have little kids 
or maybe you're always out and about touching a lot of dirty things and you need moisture it comes out like a deodorant stick it's a twist off cap it comes out and you twist the bottom and it just comes up like this there is scent it's nothing that's not natural though it's a really pleasant smell actually easy to stash into your purse it's about the same height if not a little smaller than the hand cream would i order it again no since i didn't order it initially but if you have young kids if you want to be able to just stash something in your purse on the go and just apply moisture where necessary hands free that is going to be your friend last product that i have to review it came for free with everything that I purchased and another one that I was quite excited for because I do have eczema that occasionally pops up on my lips which means that for any chapstick that I use I need it to be me friendly. I cannot have anything soy related otherwise it will pop up and in case you didn't know soy is in almost everything and it has been one of the hardest things for me to replace. So when I found this chapstick and I looked at the ingredients and there was no soy, nothing that I was allergic to, I was stoked. I was set. I was ready to try it and give it a chance. So let's start with this review, yeah? It goes on like butter. Like I said, natural scents. However, there is peppermint essential oil and lime essential oil in here. And I think the main purpose of them including that in this product is for it to have some kind of scent ever since i started getting sensitive on my face i could care less about fragrance on a chapstick i just wanted something that would work and unfortunately i believe that peppermint essential oil is actually something that makes my skin dry which is exactly what this did eczema honey if you are watching this love your products but if you ever do switch up your chapstick let me know i'd love to do another review on it um but for my type of skin and maybe for some of you out there it just didn't work for me i don't know if there's any health benefits of peppermint essential oil and if you do know of any comment down below let me know but overall their products are friendly they're not paying me i'm not sponsored by them this is my honest review of the product and if eczema honey is watching this i know that you're a small run company and as of right now it looks like you've launched onto CVS Pharmacy, so you can go into the stores, hopefully when this pandemic is over, or even online shopping for uh, on CVS Pharmacy, and you can buy it from them. So big congrats, big kudos to you. I'm super, super proud of any small businesses just finally getting their launch up. If you've used these products yourself, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Did it work? Did it not work for you? What are your favorites? What are your least favorites? And as always, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at miss underscore underscore national engage with me on there comment if there's any other product for sensitive skin that you would like for me to review comment down below engage with me on instagram and i will definitely get back to you thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a great rest of your day bye